Inside of our core.js, we're going to start with document.ready and we execute the function. First of all, we're going to use the form ID, so form map, submit. Once the form has been submitted, execute this function. Uh, first of all, we're going to write at the end, we're going to return false. Uh, first thing, we're going to add a variable, create the variable called PC for the postcode, and we assign the value from the postcode field to it, so dot val. Now we check if PC is in blank, so if there's a value inside of this field, then we use the get JSON jQuery function to go to the mod gg.php question mark PC parameter and the value of this parameter will be our postcode entered onto our postcode field. Then function once successfully uh, uh, called uh, data is going to be returned and now we're going to create the variable latitude which is lat it's going to be data results zero geometry dot location dot lat i'm going to explain you later on where it's coming from because uh, this data returned by calling this specific url will uh, be a simple uh, JSON array. So this is basically the index. Uh, this final index here is containing the latitude of the specific postcode. Then for the, I'm going to copy this line. We're going to have long latitude. It's going to be just a lot. We're going to change to LNG. And after all this, we're going to display our latitude and longitude inside of our result diff. So result dot HTML lat plus then new line br tag and plus long. Uh, then we're going to call another PHP function. But before we do this, uh, I would like to create this gg.php file so that we can actually uh, see what this data returned by calling this specific URL will contain and how we actually get this uh, latitude and longitude, what format all, all this is going to be in. So let's move to the next video and create this gg.php file.